a disclaimer to start this off. I do not wish to fight AI technology itself, but to fight the operation of using artists' work in a non-consensual manner. Hello, my name is Maddie, and today I want to dive into one of the biggest issues in the art community, according to my subscribers, AI art. Before anything else, I want to go over how AI art affects the art community in the first place. After that, we can discuss the experiences of many artists, including myself, and how I made an account on Shaker AI to research how AI actually works from the perspective of a customer. So, what is AI art? And why is it such a big issue in our community? Here's the thing. If you're an artist and you've posted images or videos of your art online, there's a huge chance it's being used to train AI bots. You're probably wondering what I mean when I say train. AI art cannot be generated without an input, aka a reference or basically somebody else's art. AI is coded and trained with a database, and this database holds hundreds upon billions of copyrighted art. This means your artwork, my artwork, the community's artwork, all collected by websites like OpenAI without any consent of the owners of the original work. Thanks to sites like Kara and DeviantArt, artists can be protected. However, this is not enough. In fact, this is beneath enough. Because of AI-generated art, many artists run into problems such as identity theft and damage to their reputation. All this mess got me thinking. How do AI websites actually function? And what if I could come across something that looks like my art? So with research in mind, I decided to make an account on Shaker AI. First, it asked me what I was interested in, so it could advertise my interests, obviously. I chose my relevant topics, such as cartoon, comics, but what stood out to me was that there was an option that said hand-drawn. Like, girl, this is AI. After clicking on an AI generate page, a tab popped up that asked, what best describes you? I chose AI enthusiast because I have to sell this disguise as hard as I can. So here's how it was laid out. A blank canvas in the middle for the art to appear, and a text field and some other options on the side so it could specify exactly what you wanted. In the text box, I put that I wanted a 2D Owl House fan art, because what am I without the Owl House guy? So it ended up generating me a, a house and an owl, hence my decision to put in a reference image of my own art. After loading for like two hours, it gave me the results. What the heck? I don't even want to talk about how screwed up this is. Continuing the search to find my own art style, I unfortunately found some others. With no luck, I decided to open up the big guns. Literally. This probably isn't a bad idea. This time, I attempted to search famous artists' work to see how close the AI could get. Trust me, some of these were scarily close. Now you're probably thinking, this is ridiculous, how can an AI copy the art of a human? However, some people still fail to grasp the fact that AI is taking away hours of our hard work and dedication. And all I can say to that is, Please do not argue with these people. It will only cause more debate and more problems. The only way we can really help solve this issue right now is to spread the word, even if you aren't part of the art community. So many artists are posting their art unknowing of the fact that it's being illegally stolen. Just because something is posted on the internet does not mean anyone can use it. So please, do yourself and the art community a favor and stay away from AI art. Refrain from posting anything you generate, and try not to support content that promotes it. And if you'd like to learn more, you can watch these videos that I put on screen. Anyways, thanks for listening to all my rambling, and hey, if you liked it, let me know. Maybe I'll make more videos like these. Now go drink water. Now.